Hey guys, welcome back to Begin Begum. I'm Saha and this video is part 2 of our Beginner's Guide to GRE series. So if you have not seen part 1, check that out first. So in the first part, I explained the basics of GRE. It's structure, scoring and now assuming that you know that GRE is what is, let's talk about how to prepare it. In this video, I'll explain that you can use which books and resources you can use for GRE. और जीआरई के लिए एक्चुअली में कितना पढ़ना पड़ता है सो लेट्स फर्स्ट टॉक अबाउट जीआरई रिसोर्सेज जीआरई के लिए इतने सारे रिसोर्सेज अवेलेबल हैं बोथ फ्री एंड पेड कि एक गूगल सर्च भी कर लें तो इतने ऑप्शंस मिलते हैं दैट यू प्रॉब्ली वुडंट नो वेयर टू स्टार्ट एंड माय टेक ऑन दिस इज के थोड़े बहुत फर्क के अलावा अक्सर बुक्स सेम ही तरह की होती है यानी एक आध टिप किसी बुक में कम या ज्यादा हो सकती है बट इसके अलावा मोर और लेस सेम कांसेप्ट्स हैं सेम बातें हैं so I would recommend don't waste a lot of time going through 10 books to figure out which one works for you because there is no one right book. Just pick any book and start studying. So when I was preparing for GRE, I didn't know the resources of GRE. So just took the book in my hand, took the book in my hand and started preparing it. But from my personal experience, I highly highly recommend Magush's resources. So Magush is like one stop shop for GRE. It's comprehensive, it really nicely explains all the concepts and if you have their subscription, then you can access their full length practice tests and get direct feedback from their tutors, which is pretty cool, especially for writing tasks. But Magush's problem is that Magush is a little bit expensive. So not a lot of students can afford it. I certainly couldn't, which is why I mainly use their free resources along with ETS official guide value book. Uh, and later on for extra practice, I used Manhattan Prep and Princeton Review. Apart from uh, Magush, another good resource is Manhattan Prep. Unke blogs, unke website pe jo bhi free uh, resources hai, wo hai. But while I'm recommending it, uh, I would say that Manhattan Prep ke questions are advanced level. Ke hote so I wouldn't start with it. Because in the first two, if you have a lot of questions, then it gets very, very demotivating. So while it's good to use that for additional practice, when you're starting your preparation, use Magush and ETS's official guide value book because they are good starting points. They're very comprehensive resources that way. And I've linked all these free resources in the description box below. Uh, so that should help you get started on your preparation. Also recently I came across another very good resource which actually surprised me a little bit because it's just as comprehensive as Magush but way cheaper. It's called Scholarden. Obviously you scan their features come in Magush se, uh, but still it offers 500 plus practice questions. It offers personalized feedback on your quant and verbal practice. Uh, it offers detailed insights on how to improve your score and they're adding more resources to their website. I think they're also adding several full length uh, practice tests. So overall I thought that was a really really good resource. Their 3 month subscription is for $19 which is like 3000 rupees. So it seems fairly reasonable uh, for 3 months access. So do check out their website and if you want to get their subscription you can use our code to get a 10% discount. Uh, or discount ke baad you all be sasta ho jayega. Something around 2700. So seems like a good deal. I'm going to link this uh, code in the description box below so you can check it out later. So by now you know GRE kya hai aur isko padhne ke liye aapko kya resources chahiye honge. So now let's talk about ki GRE ke liye kitna padhna zaruri hai. Okay so to answer ki GRE ke liye kitna padhna zaruri hai the best I can say is it depends. It depends aapne undergrad mein kya padha hai, undergrad mein kuch padha bhi hai ki nahi padha, aapke math skills kitne achhe hai, vocabulary or comprehension kitni achhi hai. In sab cheezon pe depend karta hai how much you would need to study for GRE. In order to help you figure out ki aapko GRE ke liye kitna padhne ki zarurat hai I suggest you take a diagnostic test. This means that you have to give any GRE full length test in a single sitting in which you will get to know your baseline score. That means, in any case, without studying any GRE, how much score is coming in your GRE. This score would be very helpful in making a study plan for yourself and to see how much score you are targeting. I'll put the link for a few practice tests in the description box below so it's easy for you to find them. Do take a diagnostic test before you start preparing for GRE so you know that you are starting from the beginning and how much you are needing to study. So for having made it this far without dozing off, there is a reward for you. So I have chalked out a study plan for you. Obviously it's a generic plan. You can, all, you can always tweak it according to your own preferences. But this is the plan that I used. I've made some edits to it. It's in the description box below. You can download it, use it. This would be a good starting point for you in case you're completely lost. How do I study and how do I study and how do I divide all the GRE uh, material? Ko. So this should be a good starting point and obviously as you go further along you can uh, make changes to it 
and see ki what works for you and what doesn't. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do check out the third video in this series. That's probably the most important one. I've shared some details on how you can make your study time more effective. Also, I've shared how you can take GRE for free. It's otherwise for $205. So yeah, do check out that video. And if you like this video, then do like, subscribe, share, and let me know in the comments below how you're preparing for GRE and when do you plan to take it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.